And now, on with the show. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the very, very casual bonus episode at the end of season two. Season two review. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Welcome to the show, guys. Uh, Everyone's here. Thanks, Brett. We're, we're <laughs> wow. recording this. Just yeah, so this right we're not going to introduce everybody, yeah. but uh, so you right know, after Brett the Rock Johnson, uh, Phoenix Party, Zambonis oh. Rolla, Carter Ooh. Spilliards, mm-hmm. myself, Robin Chaser, and still here uh, because this is only like about 10 minutes 10 after minutes, we recorded yeah. the finale. I'm still here. Avery Eccles of the Demon Trash Podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, we're so excited to have you here. This is almost oh, like I'm an so after. so excited to be here. Like yeah. any of the after shows, like like the Bill Maher Overtime or anything like that. Like the Talking Fragments. No. No. Mm-hmm. We can't talk <laughs> no, about it. No, no, no. We're not going to be associated with that. Hence <laughs> why. You I didn't mention I that. I didn't mention that, but... But hey, let's, let's but say hey, we're talking man. about the Stranger Things talk with Jim Rash. Because yeah. he's a good guy. <laughs> Jim Rash is good. That show, garbage. Should you watch it? No. I don't, like, I don't even like the regular Stranger Things. I know, but the Stranger Things after show was so bad. <laughs> oh, but Jim Rash is a good guy. Yeah, it really was a good guy. Jim Rash is a good guy. What? The Stranger Things episode Why, was Brett? not good. No, yeah. not at all. Why are you scratching I love Jim Rash, but... Nor was the, uh, the official Game of Thrones after show with the two guys from The Ringer. Yes. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad, but I, I kind of liked it. I kind of And then, it. uh, what else? But I'm a sucker for The Ringer. I don't know well, why. The, the Star Trek Discovery after show was not awful, but it wasn't great. Why does everything need an after show? I don't know. This has been the you say film practice after show. You say show. this uh, yeah, as yeah, we record our film practice after, after show. What about but... the Breaking Bad after... Oh. No. Or The Walking Dead. No. After, oh. mm. Or The Better Call Saul. No. No, 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 no. no, that's what the about that just I'm the doing. after day show that uh, you know was going to come out this Sunday? Yeah. Yikes! Were, were, there, were, there any, were there any oh, more talking two. Yeah. shows, or were those the only three? Hmm? No, well, there was, there was a, straight up just talking. Well, there was no. there was talking, which just got pulled. The season two premiere just got pulled, and then there was uh, Talking Dead that did Walking Dead, Talking yeah. Dead that did Fear the Walking Dead, uh, Talking Preacher. Talking bad would bring bad yes. in. Uh, talking, I might be crazy, but was there talking mad for Mad Men? No. Okay, but there that was, would have been good. There was the talk. There was the talking Saul. Yeah, so mm. that, that was the bit I was doing was going. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're yeah, saying. No, it's bad. It's no, bad. No, not good. No. But I was going I was doing the whole like. Oh no. So welcome to yes. the after film break finale. We're gonna episode. edit all this out, right? Probably not. Yeah. It'll be fine. Who edits? Really, it's fine. So um. <laughs> What did everything? I don't think. I think this was a very successful season. It I ended up working. It. It was a lot more condensed. Yes. Than season one. Yeah. yeah. Another musical goes out the first week. That was a little sad. I what a that. rough ride it was for Mary Poppins. But I'm excited for season eight when we have seven films seven. that yeah. that are all went in the first round. All of the musicals. Evidently. <laughs> but uh, uh, what is uh? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess I'll kick things off. We're gonna well, re- if you haven't listened to the season two finale, yeah, go listen. Go to that. listen to it. <laughs> go listen to the whole season two if you haven't listened to Spoiler it. Spoiler alert! We're gonna spoil everything. Uh, Beauty and the Beast won. Hey-o. So, Ooh. Silence of the Lambs also won season one. Just in case you're watching these out of order, <laughs> yeah. well, this is what you get for watching it out of order. First. You know what? I'm gonna um, predict it. Citizen Kane wins Best Picture of All Time in season eighty-seven. Mm. I'm surprised you think there's gonna be a season three. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, fair. That's fair. <laughs> so I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll say what I picked since we already know one of them, Brett, yeah, because you said it last episode. But if you didn't listen to that, I, I'm feel, just, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it was obvious we, who picked that from yeah, the get I just you know my my anyway, my face go, got red. So I was like it, they got they don't know that I picked D two the Mighty Ducks, it, but I did because D two the Mighty Ducks it, is so in case, good. Context, yeah, context, yeah, in case y'all didn't notice, oh we we restructured the show a little bit this season. We purposefully. Didn't include anyone's allegiance to any particular mm-hmm. movie. I think that worked out better for everyone. Yeah. I think we all had a much more fun time. I hope the listeners had a more mm-hmm. fun time with that. We weren't quite as personal in our attacks. Um, it was very much more about the movies, which is what we were going for. We, we were never personal with attacks. No, you guys were never personal. No, but like people were like <laughs> people, people people were like metagaming, like oh. wanting their movie to win kind of thing, which yeah. we didn't really it do was this fun, season. But it you, was you, like you made it, it sound like stressful. Out. You made, it made people like was, upset at the end of episodes. Yeah, so was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You made it sound like I was like, Carter, you're a piece of shit. Your movies are shit. You I mean, you did. You did I think at one point I did go, Brett, I don't think we like any of the that same was just movies. A, that was a real moment just now. <laughs> that was but, a uh, Brett just yeah. got mad. <laughs> <laughs> it was garbage. <laughs> but, uh, the garbage movie. You're yeah, we, this podcast. Yeah, we were watching a lot of Bar Rescue. I love John Taffer. That's beside the point, though. John Taffer, um, come be on the show. Please. Podcast Rescue. Oh, wait. No, just be on the show. I got an idea. Avery. 
What? What do you think was the other movie I picked? What other one? Yeah. Let's see how much of a super fan you are. I so, um, <laughs> so just to give you a list of every film, so of course, you know, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, Mary Poppins, The Little Mermaid, D2. I'll let D2, you know right now, it was Tron. like, we did one live action, one animated. I feel like you picked Little Mermaid. Atlantis. Little Mermaid did not. Picked Aladdin. Almost oh, wait, that was dumb. Why did I not think that? <laughs> like, hold on, sorry. You know, Phoenix, <laughs> Almost did it again. Thanks to D2 and Aladdin. We, we begged Phoenix to pick National Treasure instead of D2, but why did you not pick National well, Treasure, Phoenix? Because ducks fly together. Carter, Carter begged Phoenix I, to pick no, National Treasure. I was Treasure. also on Team Robbie National Treasure. Robbie was also okay, on Team well, Na- because I was Phoenix, not on Team Phoenix National Treasure. Phoenix at the time Treasure. had not seen National Treasure. <laughs> that has been it. rectified. You've now watched both of them. Yeah, it's all right. It's all They're, good. They're yeah. good. Okay, so good. Avery, so you now have uh, six is. films remaining. Which two did Carter pick? He chose Pirates. Yes, right. correct. Ding, ding. And then um, not hard to guess because no. I went ham for that. <laughs> what animated movie did you yeah. pick? The animated movies you have left are The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Atlantis. And Atlantis: The Lost Empire. I think you picked Little Mermaid. I actually picked Atlantis, Dang it. Mm-hmm. which I also <laughs> went hard for Atlantis. The episode <laughs> I got removed. It was. I mean, so here's Atlantis where, was a good movie, but it did have its problems. Yeah. I watched it. Here's, yeah. yeah, here's here's where I here's where I stand on both of those picks because I oh, I've been I well I went back and forth with picking like The Lion King or something more mainstream, um, but what I really like to do is because like if like everyone else had already picked something like Aladdin or Beauty and the Beast, um, and like big heavy hitters like that, and so I knew I wanted to pick Pirates of the Caribbean because to me that's probably the best live action film that Disney's ever made. It's just such um, a good film. But then I know it's so mm-hmm. good, but um. Atlantis, I wanted to pick something that, like, I knew I've always loved since I was a kid, but maybe wasn't, like, as talked about or acknowledged for its merits, and so that's why I tried to pick kind of an underdog. Yeah. Um, but I think we definitely talked about it a good amount. We got some good dialogue we on it. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, a little behind... I mean, we all loved yeah. it. I yeah. mean, it's... No, yeah, we all yeah. really liked it. A little, a little behind the scenes, when we said we were doing a Disney uh, season, first thing I did was I said, Carter dibs on Aladdin, and to quote Carter, he said, Fuck! <laughs> Yes. So, yeah, because it's both of our favorite movies. Yes, it's, it's, both our, it's both our favorite Disney movies. <laughs> yeah. He immediately said it as soon as we said Disney, and I was just I was like, well. Damn it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Damn it, Janet. Okay, continuing the game, uh, every, which good. two did I pick? I feel like he chose Mary Poppins and had to be Little Mermaid, right? <laughs> you got it just yeah. right. Yeah, that's hey. correct. Hey. And as you get to know me, that very much suits. It's very on brand for me. Yeah. <laughs> My personality. Yeah. I'm sure everyone knew Brett picked Tron. Yeah, and the <laughs> RoboCop of the season. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And of course, Beauty Very and the Beast flavor. are uh, season two winner. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel? I feel good. Two seasons yeah. in a row. Uh, Phoenix and Brett, Brett squared off to the hey. final round. <laughs> oh shit! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> and now uh, we're not going to get our round three because Phoenix is leaving us. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But so it'll forever be a time. Because I remember I like when we first said Disney. My first reaction was, "Well, damn, I can't pick Lilo and Stitch." I did that for season one. I was like, okay, I'll go with Beauty and the Beast because I love Beauty and the Beast. And I was trying so hard to think of a second one. And Phoenix was like, wait, you like Tron? Pick Tron. I was, and my exact word was like, fuck, I love Tron. Why don't I pick Tron? Yeah. Fuck, yeah, I picked Tron. Yeah. <laughs> mine didn't take me that long. I, they're both yeah. two of my favorite movies. Yeah. I grew up with them. Yeah, mine didn't take me that long either. That was just... I, my live well, I action, my live action took me a long time because I like I think I'm the probably of the f- Disney fanatics here. I'm probably like the least Disney fanatic. I like Disney movies, but I'm not like crazy about them. So I didn't really have like a live action I really loved. Mm-hmm. Um, not the Lone Ranger. Uh, not John the Lone, Carter. No, not really. I John almost Carter picked John Carter. Carter. Uh, I almost <laughs> picked John Carter. But um, I have a story that I'll share not on this podcast about okay. John Carter. Oh, you told me this story. I hate it. My John Carter story is so bad. But, you had a uh, bad theater going experience and I maintain that a bad theater going experience does not reflect on the quality of the film. It does not, but I, I think, think never watched that movie. I think John Carter is a good movie. It definitely yeah. colors how you feel about I know. that movie. John I, Carter represents the quality of John Carter. I like hey, John Carter. But because of, because of my movie going mean, experience, uh, we should yeah, I never want to watch I, that I, film I know exactly what chance? you mean. It's a good movie. Uh, um, we'll talk about it off the Lone Ranger also. But yeah, I was I was struggling to think of Disney movies, couldn't mm-hmm. think of any live action I really held on to, and then I was just going to as a kid and I was like, D2 the Mighty Ducks. And when I had that, I was like, it's a wild card. I don't know anyone who really it it two weeks. Uh, yeah, I, that was the biggest surprise. That, that was, um, like, I was, yeah, as soon as, as I finished watching season. D2. 
<laughs> I turned to who I watched it with. And I was just kind of like, this movie's gone. Like, this, Carter this, and this I movie's watched gone. But then minutes when we, before season two, episode but, one was recorded. But then when we started see, when we started episode one, it's like antagonist. I was like, no, D 2s not gone. <laughs> then I then, then the person asked me like, so did D two get voted off? I'm like, no. <laughs> and they they did not believe me. So for like the next week, they're kind of like, I think you're lying to me. I was like, no, go listen to the episode. And they're like, no, I think you're lying to me. Like, I don't I don't believe you. I'm like. It didn't have feelings, it, it, you know it, it to be true. Yeah. <laughs> so. Though Carter gave me a good uh, one that I almost picked, but it was a little too late. I wanted to pick uh, Sky High. Yeah. I was, I was like Sky, Sky High. Yeah, Sky is <laughs> yeah. real good. <laughs> yeah, Sky High is fun. But I like I had already rewatched it. I think Robbie had already bought the DVD to D2 The Mighty Doug. No, we just like, found it on Amazon. Yeah, we, uh, it. we already mm. watched it. Yeah. And so I was like, we'll stick with D2 because it's still good. Well, I also don't know that necessarily the Sky High would have gotten something. that much further, but <laughs> well, it is a. Much, I, I find it to be a more fun movie. It would have done pretty. I think it would have done well in protagonist. You know. But it would have to have gotten. And antagonist with Mary Elizabeth Winstead? Are you kidding me? All right. Yeah. Protagonist, um, that guy. I would have chose guy. Mulan. What's his name? Mulan. Mulan? What, 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 what would you the second choice have for... been? Yeah, if you did like one live action, one animated, you'd do Mulan and. Mulan would definitely be my animated. I'm not sure about live action though. What, then like, what would uh another animated yeah. one of them. if you just animated? if if you were part of the fracas you heard disney themed okay you can pick the ones that we chose what two would you choose uh mine is not pixar because we made that rule yeah yeah no yeah. pixar I'm lucasfilm marvel something. is el dorado a disney movie no nope. nope. el dorado it's not a, <laughs> not a disney movie as well. never seen it treasure planet however i don't <laughs> know treasure planet could have made it on my list i almost I picked treasure planet ones would be. and emperor's know. new groove Treasure Planet, I got the Blu-ray for. Like, I also like 101 Dark. Dalmatians. I was also thinking that. I have not seen 100 Dalmatians in a very long time. Yeah, it's been a very long time. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. It's beautiful. I did watch... 102 Dalmatians? I've seen, seen, the, I've seen the live action with Glenn Close. That movie is terrifying. It's so scary. <laughs> that movie is so unsettling. Like, it's so scary. Oh, oh, like, sorry. Oh. Okay, Are real quick. It? No, that was, an no accident. that was an accident. I'm sorry. Stop. <laughs> real quick. I was just going to say, everybody, one by one, pick your... Like, if you had a third pick in the season. All right, Carter, you start. Mine would have been Lion King, no okay. doubt. Um, Maybe Hercules. If this counted, because I know... Oh, Hercules! I totally would have chosen Hercules, Hercules as one of the other movies. If, Hercules. if this Hercules. counted, Hercules. I would have picked Hercules. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, that would have counted. That would have counted, no, yeah. no we, we, we said we weren't going to... We, we talked about it, and we said we weren't going to do, like, the Touchstone movies. Oh, you're right. Because we said, true. like, no Touchstone, no Miramax. It's, yeah. It later became yeah. a Walt Disney Presents or whatever. I don't yeah, know. They, they yeah, I was like, I feel like we could have fudged the rules. They, they, they Kingdom Hearts. We didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't necessarily... <laughs> Some of our Pixar movies, though. True. Well, well now. Yeah. Now yeah, they're you're right. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out 2019, baby. Yeah. I would have picked... <laughs> yeah, wait around for Brett and I's unrelated Kingdom Hearts podcast. Hey. The, the more I think about it, the more I think I would have picked Meet the Robinsons as my third Ooh. pick. I would have picked yeah. Chicken Little. That film is atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> but damn it, who doesn't love Zach Braff? Me. Oh, oh I, I love Zach I don't Braff. like Zach Braff. I, I don't find Zach him Braff. funny. I can't stand Scrubs. Wow. Wow. I did not like Scrubs oh, wow. at all. Oh my! Does I not don't get a high five from Yikes. God. This guy, <laughs> I, I, serious. I don't understand why people like Scrubs. I've never laughed. At I a single love episode. Scrubs. Do you like Zach Braff in BoJack Horseman? Yes, because he's making fun of himself, <laughs> and he gets. And that's oh, why I, I don't laugh. Spoil it. That's why I laugh at it so much. I'm like, oh, he's Zach Braff. Yeah, he is an idiot. Yeah, but uh, what would you have picked as your third then? Oh, jeez, I because hmm. already picked Lilo and Stitch. Could, can't do Pixar. I would have liked to do Lion King, but Carter took Lion King. Huh. I would have liked to do Nightmare Before Chicken Christmas, for but if we, <laughs> but if we don't count, I can't pick it. But if we could, Phoenix took it. Uh, <laughs> National Treasure. No. <laughs> National uh, Treasure uh, Two. Book of Secrets. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Aladdin Three. King of Thieves. No. God, why can't you just let me live my life? The Little Mermaid Two. Return to the Sea. God damn it. No. <laughs> We should, we should do a Disney sequel frack. I, I want to do a direct-to-home video frack. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> made-for-TV frack. <laughs> decom. Oh, made-for-TV frack. We talked Ooh. about decom. Yeah. talked about decom. We've talked about, uh, you know... Decoms would this be a made for TV. This is a good segue I, I, I think, to suggest films and themes. Yes, uh, well, we're gonna to let us. him let him come up with. Uh, I, well, I feel like we're already talking. About, 
Real quick, select film memes <laughs> well, to filmpractice at gmail.com. Brett. Let, let Brett, <laughs> then we'll get into that. Let like, Brett say his movie. We, that was a perfect segue. <laughs> what are you talking about? Know, but Brett just needs, needs to say his <laughs> movie. You're the one derailing him all the time. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Cash or Trash. <laughs> Stop, fight. that's not fight. even original. Like, this is the fight, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all were drilling him for like five minutes. Is this the frack issue one? I did one derail. Yes. And then so the frack issue one. Are you satisfied, Brett, Brett, oh. I, I did one derail, and whoa, then they attacked whoa, whoa. me for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, <laughs> okay, but seriously, let's let Brett go. I think... Uh, I think I probably okay, but if I could interject God, real Jesus quick, Christ. I <laughs> you know, I'm loving that, I'm loving that Space that? Jam shirt you're rocking today. I know. I I'll get to you, Brett. I was like, "Why? <laughs> this isn't even." I'm if not even wearing headphones anymore. I would choose a third movie. I'm not even wearing headphones anymore. I would choose anymore. Tangled. Ah, oh, Tangled. Oh, I'd, nice. I'd probably choose Tangled as a third pick. I don't love Tangled, but oh, maybe Tangled more than Frozen changed my mind. Maybe Moana. No, Anyways, I like Moana, Moana more than Frozen. I haven't seen. I, Frozen. I like Tangled I more than Frozen more than Moana. I like Moana, Moana is at the bottom of that list. Wow. I did not care for. I Moana. like Moana more than Frozen and Tangled. I did not That's like Tangled that much. Incorrect. No, sir. I mean, I like Frozen. Okay. All right, Robbie. What's the next thing we're talking about? Oh, uh, if you Phoenix was saying it earlier, if you would like Before to send us Before he derailed the conversation. For yes. Future. Why am I being victimized? So yeah, we're we're, we're we've been talking <laughs> brainstorming. I mean, there's thoughts for like like we said there. We could do decoms. We could do made for TV. We could do direct to video sequels. We've talked about. We're still about, working out in our heads how to do a TV season. Yeah, we're working. I that, think that one's gonna be a long yeah, time in the works. I think the TV fracas. Um, the key is we might, if we do the head to heads, um, which we're going to kind of experiment with in our upcoming bonus episodes in the next couple of weeks, um, we can do like a head to head TV because basically how the TV works is it'll have to be like each, like both or all the people competing will have, have to have seen all of, all of the TV shows, yeah. which is why it's difficult. Um, you may be picking the season, yeah. that future season soon so that everyone can watch it yeah and Maybe. so it also would kind of behoove to do some like sitcoms yeah. or something so that way there's not so, such a difference yeah that's why like the head to head would be easier because like that's just two people and two tv shows that you're having to you know come up with that both people have seen which isn't as difficult i mean i've seen almost every tv show ever yes. so if you have suggestions <laughs> for uh, movies true, tv yeah. shows Themes for future seasons, designs yeah. for merchandise. If yeah, you want to send us those, we'll give you credit. Yeah, we'll probably be altering our logo soon as mm -hmm. as we get a new permanent host. Yeah. But uh, Which, uh, we'll probably be going back to our same person for that and swapping in our new host. Just yes, in Phoenix's spot uh, in the so room. You should buy the buy <laughs> merch now. So buy merch yeah, now. It's now. Be it's limited. If you want to send us OG. those things, uh, you know, yeah, filmfracas at gmail dot com. And it can be as broad. Everything will be read yeah. and responded to. It can be as please. broad or as specific as y'all want like we've discussed doing just sci-fi movies in general or westerns or anything Action like movies. that you know just broad genres or you know very specific like you know movies that came out in the year 1978 that <laughs> could be fun year for film? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know actually 1982 mm -hmm. but movies that start with the letter L. yeah that would be interesting something very specific that would be good for like a head to head yeah, that could be just oh, fun yeah, yeah I should do rom-coms I just want to know yeah, rom-coms also would be good rom-coms rom -coms rom -coms are doing like a whole like I hate the term but I can't think of saying anything better chick flicks like you know rom-coms I'd choose my big fat Greek wedding Probably. That's such a good one. That's I would a good pick one. my two favorite rom coms, which are The Proposal mm. and um, The Big Sick. So I do. Oh, Carter chose a serious movie. We lose. I do. <laughs> when Harry Met Sally and Ooh, classic. Probably, uh, I'm deciding between Five Hundred Summer or Eternal Sunshine. As well as mine. Ooh. Probably do Eternal Sunshine because I love it more. But Five Hundred Summer. Is that really a rom, rom com? Where's the com? You haven't seen it, Carter. I so also it, it's funny. I mean, I'm not sure if I would classify it as a comedy. All right, I'll do 500 in summer. I'm also not sure if I'd classify that as a comedy. Oh come on! I probably end oh. up with a sleepless in mean, Seattle. I mean, neither of those uh, movies make me feel. You've good. got mail <laughs> at all. No, I take sleepless in Seattle that's true. and like uh, crazy stupid love. I think. Ooh, oh, good. crazy love is a great one. Yes. Wrong. I'd, I'd, Bridget Jones Diary. Bridget Jones could make I, an appearance. Never seen. I, I would want to choose Mamma Mia so just to watch Carter try to defend it. I love Mamma Mia. Yeah, I know. I recently we should do a musicals one. Mamma Mia. Musicals it's have so not bad, fared well. But if we do it all musical season. An all, an all musical season could be very interesting. I would, 
I would love to do that. Okay, if we had to do an all musical season, what would your two picks be? One of my picks would actually, be... Actually, we might actually do that. I don't know if we want to discuss that I mean, we here. can... It, it's all theory. That's right true. Like, it's, it's all theory. Best it's all, it's all hypothetical. Movies. That's true. That'd 80s? Be best be 80s good. movies. Good. Robocop. Yeah. No, I can't pick it. But, um... <laughs> no, I'm just saying. If we were doing, <laughs> I'm just saying. If we were doing musicals, I would definitely pick Les Mis and <laughs> The Producers. Ooh. I'd probably pick... That is a heavy hitter. Uh, one, one, at least one of my movies would be Phantom of the Paradise. And I don't know what a... I don't know what the second one would be. Mamma Mia. We're, no, we're just saying, said, no, it would not be Mamma Mia. You just Mia. said Mamma I, Mia. I said that would be for rom-coms. We're saying movie musicals, right? Musical. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, I definitely... I gotta think about this. I'd definitely take uh, The Music Man, my favorite movie musical of all time. The Matthew Broderick one? No, the, the original the one. The original one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't and know. The Matthew take... Broderick one's pretty fun. It's not as good. It's And uh, the 2002 Chicago. Ooh, that's good. Uh, Ooh, Chicago Moulin Rouge is really also good. Oh, no. Interesting picture. You don't like Moulin Rouge? No. I like the I don't song. Don't like I'm really Rouge not either. a huge fan of the movie. I, I love how absurd right it is. I don't like I think it's is hilarious. Moulin Rouge a jukebox musical? Yes. Yeah. Kind of. No, Ooh. it is. I love Evita too, but that's just me. Phoenix? No, me on Julia. Um, no, me on Julia. I, I would probably take West Side Story. Ooh. And, uh, and yeah, that's. I'm trying yeah. to think of a modern like one. Singing in the rain too. For the more modern ones, I'm deciding between either Sweeney Todd or Hairspray. But one of those. The hairspray, Ooh, the hairspray is such a good one. Yeah. yeah. I'm choosing I, Jesus Christ Superstar live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> NBC John Legend and. Uh, like, I, I could choose Phantom of the Paradise and Sweeney Todd, but then everyone would think I'm some angsty teenage kid. You are an angsty teenage kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a. Uh, one Direction's This Is Us, their concert musical movie. <laughs> oh. I'm taking A Hard Day's Night. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that even counts? Phantom of the Opera? I would say it does. Even Phantom of the Opera. Ah, uh, Gerard Butler. Yes. I love Phantom of the Opera. I actually Phantom like the Phantom of the Opera movie. None of us said Sound of Music. That's interesting. That's in, Yeah, that's true. Sound of Music would also be good. So Joel many good ones. made that Phantom but, of the Opera movie. Yeah. Yes, he did. I had yes, this, I was having this conversation did. yesterday about Joel Schumacher. I don't think he's a bad filmmaker. I think he just has a very particular style. Yes. Like he, he directed a couple episodes like. of House of Cards. Yeah. Like we and were, they're good. Yeah, we were talking about we kind of talked about this a couple of weeks ago, like Michael Bay. Because lots of people shit on Michael Bay, but I'm like, he's made more good movies than bad. It's just everyone thinks of him for like the shitty Transformers movies. Yeah. But he pretty much said, I don't want to make these anymore, and then they just gave him more money, so of course he's going to make them and he doesn't have to do anything because he's already gotten a shit ton of money. So that's why I I think that And at the end of the day that's what it's all about exactly. is making the money. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Fink she made a face. Do you not think Michael Bay's more made? I mean, Michael I've Bay's never been wowed by a Michael Bay movie. Bad Boys, Bad Boys Two, The Rock, Armageddon, Pain and Gain. There was like one. Pearl the first, the first Transformers. The third Transformers. Not Pearl Harbor. No, I, that was like one movie I liked in that. It was Bad Boys Two. <laughs> not, but not Pearl you know, Harbor. Like Bad Boys One. Not I Transformers Four or Five. It's never, okay. I've never seen it. I feel like Either that was a Bad better, Boys movie. But um, have you seen Pain and Gain? I haven't seen Pain and Gain. <laughs> so Pain and Bain, Pain and Gain is not a good movie. But don't I don't like Pain and Gain. I love the I Rock. I love Pain and Gain. I don't like Armageddon. Don't like The Rock. Um, don't like any of the Transformers. Not even the first one. <gasps> Um, yeah, Michael Bay gets an L for me, but wow. you know, like fun. <laughs> speaking of tra- how do, what do people think of the new Bumblebee trailer? Like, what's I think it looks pretty good. I haven't seen it. I haven't I'm seen it either. I'm, 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 very, it. I'm very behind on all the new trailers. I saw the Halloween one, and I'm very intrigued. Yeah, it's I intrigued. It good. I'm very intrigued. Like, it looks like it could go the way of like maybe not as bad and gory as like the Rob Zombie remake. But I feel like it could go the way of like another generic like slasher horror movie. But I'm excited to see what Jamie Lee Curtis does. Yes, I'm, yeah. I'm very Definitely. excited. And I, I, Phoenix told me how they like, they talk about like uh, the one like that the revelation from Halloween too. They're like, isn't that like isn't Michael Myers like your mother's like brother or something? They're like, no, that's just some lie somebody made up. Yeah. And I was like, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, it was fun. Um, interesting so, that they had the bathroom stall though. I feel like that was like a homage to H two O because they have that bathroom. That scene. is true. It's very similar, which I was yeah. like, that's weird that yeah. they would do it again. 
But, but anyways, yeah, it's anyway. not Halloween practice. This is not, no, it's not. But we, we get slashes. I'm gonna pick Halloween. I, no, I would choose Halloween. You no, son of a I bitch. would pick. No, Halloween. no, we've talked about. You're this. gone, if Phoenix. We, yeah, if, if we did horror movies, I've right. said Halloween would Dips. be at least one of my picks. Oh, that's not. So, so, well, that, 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 I know what I would. That, at least you're yeah. that, That's my problem. Is I know at least one of my picks for like every topic we can come up with. It's finding the second one that I have an issue for. So now we're sitting here with. You know, we have a rare opportunity to have a fan in the studio with yes. us. <laughs> None of your other guests are fans of your podcast. Not, no. Not really. Some, some of them aren't so fans Graham of us. Listen to every episode. Graham had listened to, I think, most of them. He just dragged him he, here. He just didn't watch any of the movies. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, if you were just, you know, getting to sit here and interview us, what kind of questions would you have? Um, these right. lovely I, three I gentlemen like and two. this one piece of trash. <laughs> Um, you prepared for the trash. bonus episode? You no, I in? just thought of these questions. She's more prepped and I, than like, me. Like, she, she, she has no sounding machine. She, she, she's got a lot of criticisms and suggestions that she brings up around the office. Okay. I do. I pride myself on <laughs> my opinions. Um, so is this when you come and say, uh, people at the office are saying it's, this? It's, it's literally just Avery? No, it's, it's, it's me and my a- Avery, and Raven, uh, my, our, my audio our producer coworker, Raven. And then Ster- Sterling says some things like, it's not just Avery. There are, there are other people that listen to this podcast. No, I don't. Shout out to them. Times. People yeah. listen to this podcast. Oh, yeah. Shout out to our listeners. I love y'all. Y'all are great. Well, Buy our merch, please. Buy our merch. <laughs> Why did you <laughs> support? I mean, give five stars. It would be, it would be yeah, nice to be back. It would, affiliate link. it would be nice to be back in the studio. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you to Permanent Record Studios yes. for uh, having us this season. It was yeah. really cool. Um, hopefully, we can be out there again sometime soon. Oh, don't we? Uh, if we refer somebody. Yes. Yes, uh, we'll talk to you about that later, Avery. <laughs> but if we refer you guys to do an hour of uh, time at Permanent Record, they oh. will give us an hour for free. Really? So we're putting you on the spot for everybody to hear right <laughs> now. No, that means like, people need to go listen to my podcast so I can afford to go yeah. <laughs> there as well. Go listen to the Demon Trash. <laughs> go listen to the Demon Trash podcast. Yeah. I'm on an episode. Yeah, Brett's on it. Although that's probably, yeah, he's that episode. That's probably more of a reason to not it listen. My, my, favorite, it my favorite part of the episode was when you couldn't think of an S word because <laughs> you were reading like the letters of your Snapchat and you're like B as in Bravo, R as in Roger, and then you got to S and you're like, what's an S word? <laughs> S as in some kind of word that starts with S, but I can't think of one right now. <laughs> Spilliards. I should have like said something that. Like spill yard, something in your yard. Or S word, spell sword. So you could have said sword. Anyway, that's true. <laughs> Question. Okay, here's one. Um, are there any movies that you regret voting off in any of the seasons that you wish you didn't? vote Regre- off. Regret voting off. Like regret you voting later, off? On, later on changed your mind. I'm glad that Iron Man stayed on as long as it did. I'm sad The Shining left that one week. <laughs> yes. I am. I don't regret, because I did not vote for The Shining, so I don't, like, I don't know that there are any things that I've personally regretted. There are, like, the, the two for me that are, like, the most heartbreaking was when The Shining got voted off in place of Iron Man. <laughs> That still hurts. And then hurts just a couple weeks ago with Pirates of the Caribbean, when I was like, the music's so Pirates good. Pirates of the Caribbean hurt me. You guys hurt me. Um, the other one that, that uh, hurt me is... <laughs> Sorry. I, I think it was the week we put it out, I listened to it again, and I just had so many more arguments. Uh, I'm still upset about Roger Rabbit leaving one into the <laughs> season. Oh, like, never forget. It, I mean, we, I mean, the four of us remember just how pissed I was after that episode. Yeah. yeah, it was not pretty. <laughs> yeah. There's some salt, but that goes with the game. But I will, I will say, just yeah, because you guys voted off game. like Lord of the Rings for best story, and I was just like, what is going? That was on? one I was like, everyone's gonna hate us because I, like, I that, was, that, that, that's I one that I still like. I don't understand how that got voted off. I like, we had some kind of odd logic with it. I still kind of support the decision. That it's only the first, it's only third, the first of third of a story. Ex- except that I was like, except because because we were talking about like, oh yeah, it's the first third of the story, and there's so much that's left open. It's like, except there really is. It's not like, it's not like a season finale of a TV show cliffhanger. It was yes, except you know going into it that it's the first third of the story, and so I feel like we gave the Big Lebowski a pass because we're like, oh, like nothing really happens. It's about nothing, and we were all like you guys were all like yes but that's like the point of the movie and in the context of that it's okay and I'm like in the context of the fact that this is going to be a three part like Brett is this pulling is, out this is going to be a trilogy yeah but if, if, like, it's, if it's, a, it's a trilogy if Fellowship ended where it did I would be like what the hell it didn't go to Mordor but if 
But when the Big Lebowski ends where it does, I'm like, all right, that was the movie. That's a good story. That's that was my it, logic. To answer your question, I don't think I regret anything. <laughs> no regrets. I, I choose I will, my words I will, very deliberately. I, I, I don't regret <laughs> any of my. I, I don't regret any of the things that I voted off. There, I, there are episodes I wish would have gone a little differently. Yeah, I will yes. say that Fellowship of the Ring. I still don't regret. I think yeah. our argument was, worked. But uh, I, don't, also, same, I don't think it did. It's the same way that, you know, you didn't like Solo because it bores you. Lord of the Rings does Except, not No, I have me. more reasons for not liking Solo rather than just it was boring. But Being like, boring is a big one, but I have more than just it was boring, so I don't like it. Yeah. But, like, that, it's the same reason. The story doesn't grab me, and I still feel firmly that, like, I would have voted it off had you argued any differently. <laughs> I just think with the votes that I did, I I just went with my brain and not my heart because like there are times when I maybe I would have probably regretted voting Aladdin because I know I like Beauty and the Beast had the better like overall thing. I also voted out Moonlight even though it was my own movie, but I knew that it kind of lo- it should have lost for production design. So I think because I went like with my brain and not my heart, I have no regrets. If I did my heart and was like really just like, well, I like Aladdin, so screw Beauty and Beast or whatever. Or I like D to my duck, so sorry Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever. Yeah. Like then I'd have regrets, but because I go with my brain, I feel yeah, like I, mean, I did the right thing. I think we all try and do the show as I mean we obviously all have you know how we think it's going to go, but I think we strive to be it as objective as possible. Yeah. yeah. In our decision. The only times I ever feel like I truly go with my heart is when it's as close as it was in like this past season finale. It was like, season two's finale. Where I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> you know, I was like, Beauty and the Beast versus Aladdin, two, you know, pretty equal movies in my book. But I was like, I just have to go with, with the one that I think makes me feel better. You know, just like, you yeah. know, it's the Phoenix. You know, if I had both of these movies as a choice to go see at a movie theater for free, which one do you go see? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of where your heart gets into it. <laughs> You're like, yeah. But do you have another you have question? question? What is like y'all's like guilty pleasure movie? Like you know it's bad, but you just so you many. watch it and you yeah, watch it. So many. Place. Carter is name like your top the most two guilty or pleasure TV movie everything. Because I've seen like all of Grey's Anatomy except up to a certain point when they killed my favorite character and I no longer wish to watch the show. And then uh, I love Boston Legal. I don't know if you've listened to that. I love, um, I watched all of Desperate Housewives and all of Brothers and Sisters uh, quite enjoyably. I've watched, oh, what else? I don't watch reality TV. That's my, I don't have that vice. Um, <laughs> some people do, I don't. Um, that, that's not completely true because I do love me some DIY shows and some Bar Rescue, which I guess are technically reality. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. And like anything on the Food Network. Anything on the Food technically Network. Technically a reality show. American Pickers, Pawn Stars, those are all good. Fixer Upper. The Great British Baking Show. TV. So good. I watch... It's obscene. It's obscene. It's, yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, movies as a guilty pleasure. Um, I don't know. I love most movies I watch. I really try and go into movies with a very like hopeful attitude that I will love them and I usually if it's unless it's just atrocious or like really pisses me off with something I usually like it so that makes people think I have bad movie opinions but I don't think I do I just like most movies um like I said I like The Rock a lot and a lot of the filmmakings of the Michael Bay um what else y'all know me better than me than I do what is there anything that, that y'all say? That's not true. That is no, we I know mean, so little well, about you. Well, you be all, like, Phoenix, you tend to be like, how do you like that movie? And I'm like, I like it. Um, like John Carter I was talking about, I really liked. Lo, uh, Lone Ranger I don't think is awful. I don't necessarily, you know, like it, but I don't think it's horrible. It's yeah, definitely like the, watchable. It has to be really bad yeah. for me not to like it. Because, like, for me, if I was entertained just a little bit, it's like, yeah, eh, no. It yeah, fine. no, exactly. I would say my Guilty Pleasure series is like, I will, you know marathon all three of the Brendan Fraser mummy movies Ooh. to varying degrees <laughs> of, you know I love the first two the third one's still a little rough the, for me the oh. third one is rough but I hold a strong opinion and I know it's not popular that the second mummy movie is better the than... second mo- mummy movie is the best mummy movie the mummy returns okay I didn't know you had the this greatest <laughs> mummy movie ever made the Tom Cruise one was shit don't watch it the Mummy Returns, best movie, some of the worst special effects I've ever seen, but my god, it's, it's not the their most fault. Fun. It's not their fault. That rock, the, 
that whole story, if y'all don't know that story, go back and read and research it, because that, that shit's crazy. They just literally just ran out of money and time, and we're just like, we're just going to release the movie, even though they're like, this is totally unfinished. They were like, too bad, got to release the movie, and so they just released it. That's why The Rock looks so shitty as the Scorpion King. But all that aside, The Mummy Returns is fantastic. Mummy Returns is fantastic. I have not seen... Movies. Either of those mummy movies. Uh, since they were, the mummy since movies? they were, you guys gotta let me finish talking. Okay. My God, you can't that pause is like, like that, Brett. <laughs> I was, but I didn't pause. Anyway, I was saying I haven't seen either of the mummy movies since they were released on DVD, and I watched them when they were on DVD, which was like early two thousands. Oh, so it's that. it's been at least a decade since I have seen those two Talking movies. Back home. Now, that, that is probably the biggest issue I have with all of you on this podcast. No one ever lets me finish. Everybody interrupts me. <laughs> you just have a very deliberate pacing. Yes, yeah, I do. do. It's just how I talk. I'm sorry you're just we very cut articulate, you and you're just like, I want to say my piece though yeah. before I forget it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Brett. I get derailed too. Have with all of us. Yes, but it's. It's it happens less to me and Carter. That's, That's what true. you should expect from a fracas. Your fight, it's supposed to be noisy. Yeah, we should be screaming at each other every it's episode. because me and Brett talk film, soft, and Carter and Robbie talk loud, and so we're like... Discussion. We're loud boys. It's okay. Yeah, okay. I, 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 at least... At least every time I'm in the office, Avery tells me that the film fracas is not fracasy enough. Well, this episode, we have been... Fighting. In the bonus episode. In the bonus episode, that doesn't matter. <laughs> to, bring, to reference I would say this does Demon matter. Trash, I'm gonna listen to it. Uh, Carter, Resident Evil 2 is not good. Okay, Resident Evil 2 <laughs> is the best no, Resident not. Evil. it's not. We're not I talking love about Resident this. Evil. We're not talking <laughs> about this. Where, which one? <laughs> I... Brett tried to unplug For Carter's who's like, microphone. In, in, who wants to be an audio guy, you really like to mess with audio. Like, like you mess, like, like to mess up people's audio. It, 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 it's, it's a learning experience. Resident That's how you learn evil different things to do. Like, oh he's gotta, the best you Resident try. Evil. Well, that's what makes him so good at is he knows all the ways to fuck it up. Right. Yeah. Oh, I maintain. Right. You, gotta, you gotta know the problems. Then it's like you can best. also make really. You, you guys have yes. to save actual brawling until you like, like you can, get also a video Mission Impossible like, of the original. Film. I mean, I'm sorry, you, you a video also, podcast. You can also make a lot of good sounds by screwing around. My favorite Mission Impossible movie is Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. But if we're talking about the first three Mission Impossibles, my favorite is the second one, which is also an unpopular <laughs> no, opinion. The, the second one is the worst. I like the second the Mission Impossible. Possible the most. It's I haven't seen any of out of those three. Now. That's our next. My uh, favorite overall is is Rogue Nation. Brett gets mad at me that I like three, good, but you like two. Good. No, yes. no, no. My 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 mine's my issue is where you rank three out of all of them. G- give give me your Mission Impossible rankings. It goes five four one. Well, no, five four three one two. Yeah, mine probably Five, goes... Five, four, three, one, two. Why do I have a problem with that? Mine probably goes... <laughs> mine probably think, goes think, think about it now. I'm like, hang on, what? Mine's probably five, four, two... You just said two was the best. Three, one... No. He it's said of the, of the original the first three. Okay. But it goes five, four, two, maybe one, three... Yeah, I think that's I, my least I've actually episodes. been thinking a lot about this, and I used to like four the best, but thinking about it now, I think I might actually like five the best. So I think it goes five, it's four, so five, four, one, three, two. I loved how yeah. it was like a better James Bond movie than the James Bond movie that came out the same year. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like everyone saw Rogue Nation and was like, this was so good. And everyone saw Spectre and was like, Rogue Nation was a better James Bond movie than oh, Spectre. Wait, I think it's I think it's five, three, four, one, two. That's my which issue is, why is that you like three more than four, three which is just wrong four. on every level. It's no, better than that's that, that, that's that's, that's my so issue. Carter. We're gonna watch all these <laughs> yes. soon, right? You oh, you guys, you guys are. I yeah, have not seen any I, I, of I want to be here for the movies. I want to be here. Second of a Mission Impossible. You can be there. We're watching them the week leading up to the new one. Oh, when is that? It, it, oh, mid July. When is the <laughs> July? When does the new one come out? July twenty first, something like that. I don't know. That's don't why know I'm either. asking. Jurassic World comes out this weekend. Are yeah, you excited? No. no. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm going to see if that I'm trailer was so like good because it told the whole movie but it was bad because it told the whole movie the first trailer they cut was fine you're like oh I'll I'll probably still go see it but the new one we're not actually going to be able to see it I don't need to see this anymore I know what happens we're about to see it Thursday night I think I'll be going on my trip to Florida the next day for me a lot of a lot of guilty pleasures are comedies so I literally like (laughs) so um, we'll have to like that. semi-pro Maybe the and uh, <laughs> Step we Brothers Hot Rod like, Nacho Libre Tenacious Space Heat Jam. and the Pick of Destiny Space Jam even though it's amazing Space Jam is not a guilty pleasure I'm proud of it yeah, neither like, is Hot Rod like, I don't know why I, I said that like, Hot Rod is I'm proud like, of it I love Dumb and Dumber and people are like oh that's a guilty pleasure I'm like no I just 
I love Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. I mean, I feel guilty liking those movies, like Semi-Pro and uh, those other ones, Tenacious D and stuff. But I like Tenacious D. Like, I, I, un- I unapologetically like uh, yeah, Dumb and Dumber, uh, Talladega Nights. Oh, I love Talladega Nights. <laughs> yeah. Those are just good. It's just good comedy. It's just fun. It's uh, good comedy. There, it's good comedy is what it yeah. is. But I as Tropic a movie, Thunder, I, have, um, I feel bad about it. I, I think I need to D2 watch D2 to Mighty Ducks as well. But that's like uh, most kids I, I stuff. Think, like Sky High 2. I think and probably stuff. my biggest guilty pleasure movie is probably Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. <laughs> just I want to see it. That's that, a good film. That movie's so fucking weird. It's so good. Not the Greasy it's Strangler? so bad. No, I'm fucking proud of liking the Greasy Strangler. I fucking love the Greasy Strangler. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it again, damn it. I, I want to see it. You'll hate it. But I'll fucking love it. Are you sure I'll hate it? it? What if I love it? You'll hate then it. great. I mean, but I'm pretty. Sure. What if I love it and you change your you mind recommended and decide you that hate once, it? Right? No, you I, I, I've never right. recommended the Greasy Strangler. Well, I'll recommend Sea Lab and Space Ghost. Speaking of recommendations, but I'm not bold yeah, we're enough. getting towards the end of this. Uh, I'm not bold enough to, reco- to recommend the Greasy Strangler. Surprisingly <laughs> long bonus episode. Yeah, this yes. is not intended to not be surprising. Have you heard what we've been talking about? But uh, let's do our sign-offs and I guess right, more okay. recommendations. Okay. Uh, you can find me on Twitter oh, at oh, C.A. Yeah. Spilliards. Uh, spill something in your yard and add an S. Um, my recommendation is going to be The Incredibles 2. Uh, please go and watch it. At this point, I think almost everyone in the world will have seen it because this comes out in two weeks. Yep. Um, it's very, very good. I quite enjoyed it. It did exactly what a sequel should to me. Um, I loved it. I don't think it's better or worse than the first one. I just think it's a natural progression. So. Oh, I guess it's uh, going to me. Uh, oh. <laughs> find me on Snapchat at a Brett J H N S N number one. Post review of a movie as close to every day as I possibly can. You can send me a message. We'll talk about it. You can get mad at me when I say I don't like movies because uh, a lot of people got mad at me when I said I didn't like Mary Poppins. Um... I just said uh, I'm not brave enough to recommend this, but I think I just got... I found my bravery. I found my courage. Uh, I'm going to recommend the one and only Greasy Strangler. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Wait, what? This Phoenix? isn't what we what, meant. What, what, do you, what do you mean, damn it? Well, I, I thought you... You said you'd never recommend it. Yeah, and I just said I uh, found my bravery. I found my courage. Right. Uh, I met the Wizard of Oz. Well, you know, uh, do you live your life? But yeah, I'm going to recommend the Greasy Strangler. It is the most bizarre, off-kilter weird unsettling movie you'll probably ever see in your life and I unabashedly love it and I will full heartedly recommend it so uh, go check it out you want to uh, yeah sure I'm uh, at Vomass Phoenix on Twitter uh, follow me there I tweet things that you like um, this is coming out next Wednesday right yes uh, for this coming out um, I'm still doing trying my best still having those uploads should be two episodes out now so uh, go to that YouTube channel, subscribe, watch those two episodes, and on Friday, the third episode will be released, and it's probably Saturday, the outtakes video. Um, check that out. I hope you like it. It's really funny. Um, uh, and yeah, I guess for me to recommend something, Carter was telling me I should recommend... Make this a grand recommendation. It's your I'll last recommend one. The <laughs> I'll recommend the an entity that is the home box office. HBO. <laughs> Recommending all God, of HBO. Is... Recommend HBO programming <laughs> in general. The network of that the home is... box office. I have that is the, the single best and worst recommendation <laughs> you could ever make. I'm wearing an HBO hat right now. I love HBO stuff. Um, you can't really go wrong. Just peek your head in there. Even their like, worst programming isn't awful. Yeah, it's still alright. Like, still vinyl good. wasn't was pretty bad, but... Season, it looked good. Yeah. Se- season two of True Detective. What like I mean, it wasn't great, but it was not that bad. Yeah, and so, then season one. Vinyl was, was really de- great. Vinyl was definitely worse. Than <laughs> Lucky Louie like was bad. That's what I'll. Uh, yeah, so, I have a friend who really likes it though. Really. So, yeah. like, HBO, come on to the podcast, please. <laughs> yes, I'll oh, sponsor yeah. the yeah. entity. Um. So yeah, check out anything they do. Uh, I probably I, have seen it. Of course, am Robbie underscore DeShazer on Instagram and Twitter. Go follow me there. I post a lot of stuff I hope you guys like. Um, this week I'm going to recommend a movie by the name of L.A. Confidential. It's one of my favorite uh, you so know, neo-noirs, uh, even though it's got uh, Kevin Spacey in it, who we're maybe a bit of an unsavory character these days. But uh, it's a fun watch. It's on uh, Netflix. Uh I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I forgot how much I liked it until uh, a couple nights ago. I just saw it on Netflix and was like, oh, I haven't watched this in a while. Fantastic. It's so such a good watch. And uh, 
You know, it's got Danny DeVito in it. It's got a uh, early Guy Pierce and Russell Crowe. Let me some Russell Crowe. There's there's a lot to love about it. So uh, go head over to the Netflix and uh, you know check that out. And of course, our guest. Okay, uh, you can follow me, Avery, at the Demon Trash Podcast on Instagram and Demon Trash Cast on Twitter, and then you can go listen to the Demon Trash Podcast on iTunes, Google Play. We're working on getting it, it wherever other podcasts are also uploaded. Um, I'm just gonna recommend my like one of my guilty pleasures. It's like a go for it. Go for a, it. It's called. It's a Japanese reality show called Terrace House. And it's I've like heard of that. it's different from like American reality shows. Uh, they put like six strangers in a house mm-hmm. and like see how the relationships unfold. It's just really good. It's cool seeing a different like culture and like I like seeing where they eat because it's actually <laughs> also like really cool. But sorry, it's it's just good. I like it. Cool. Yeah, sounds yeah, interesting right. enough. Well, this has been another fantastic bonus episode. And this is our final, oh. final, oh. final episode oh. with Phoenix. Phoenix, you have anything you want to say? Last final comments? Um, I loved doing this podcast. I love you guys. Uh, sad I have to go, but... You're always I mean, welcome back. Yeah, always welcome this, back. Anytime. Yeah, this isn't goodbye forever. It's goodbye for now. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, y'all keep killing it with the, with the podcast. Like, we'll, just we'll try. Will continue you, will you doing finally it? start listening? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, thank you all for letting me be on this podcast and letting me be a co-host for so long. I appreciate well, it. Um, for, for those who don't know, Phoenix was like on the ground floor on this. Yeah. I think the it first was, night. The was first, like, I mean, I think it was Robbie, myself, and Phoenix were all in a car driving somewhere. And we were like, what do we want to do for a podcast? That's and true. So, I mean, he was on that. And we were like, who else do we know who likes to talk about movies? And we're like, Brett Johnson. <laughs> so yeah, The Rock Johnson. Who has radio experience yeah. already. Hey. So it was perfect to get. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah, so... Uh, this has been a fantastic run. Yeah. Thank you. Seriously, the, the invitation is open anytime. Yeah. Uh, Even if we have like a special guest on and you you want to come on, we'll bump them. Yeah, even if it's John Hamm. Even if it's John Hamm. Yeah, fuck John Hamm. Man. Like, you got Phoenix Arola. Honestly, Phoenix Arola, you're better than John Hamm. Thank you. I'm not. But thank you. Our listener base John is going to be much more excited podcast. by uh, Phoenix Arola than John Hamm. Right? Yeah. You know, well, we shouldn't have said that I was leaving. We should have just had like a fourth mic going and with no one hearing it just being like Phoenix is being quiet today <laughs> See how long I'll like, just keep the recording of you saying bye bye yeah. just to play at the end of yeah. every episode yeah for real this is real fun um uh good luck to the next co-host yes I have we'll, a, we'll be announcing soon I have a back to back history of being in the final so they have big shoes to fill unless I don't think we mentioned who it was no no, no okay yeah so we'll yeah we'll we'll be announcing that in the next couple of weeks as soon as we get everything solidified with yes. schedules and whatnot. Yes. But thank you. Yes, There's going to be you. more bonus episodes coming up yes. soon. Uh, you know, check out our Amazon affiliate link. Yes. Check out our merchandise. Uh, all those links are going to be downstairs, uh, down in the description. Check out Frying My Best on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. Yes. Because seriously, season three yes. is going to have some video content for it. Listen to Demon Trash. Listen to Demon Trash. Quick, episode two, Frying Fry My Best, has Robbie in it. So yeah. you'll see both of us. So don't watch it. Listen oh, to hey, my man. music. Listen to but he's funny in it. He has one line. I'm not in any of these. And, and he eats something disgusting. Frankly. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I play a ghost, actually. <laughs> oh my it. gosh. <laughs> um, but yeah, follow or subscribe to the YouTube channel, Film Fracas. Film Fracas. Mm. Suggest things yes. at filmfracas at gmail.com. Yeah. And yeah, I think that'll That's, do it. That'll do it. So, Phoenix, would you like to sign us off for the last time? Yeah. Tune in again next week for a new episode of Film Fracas. Bye-bye. Oh, that really makes me sad now. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Film Fracas. We know there are a lot of shows on the web. We are so glad that you took the time to listen to ours. Thank you to Phoenix, the party Zamboni Zarola, Carter, the whole effing show Spilliards, and Robbie, the main man DeShazer, for writing and producing each episode. Please consider giving us a five-star rating wherever you listen. It really helps get the word out. You can follow the show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Film Fracas. Once again, thanks for listening, and we can't wait for you to hear our next episode.